Hello, happy, what is today? Wednesday, today is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, my friends. I hope you guys are having a good day. It is actually a super rainy day here on the Cape. It didn't start out this way. I actually have flip-flops on, so I did not plan very well. <laughs> so um, it was kind of chilly, so I have my jacket, which I still haven't taken off. I've been here for hours. Um, but my feet are a little chilly too, because I decided to wear um, flip-flops today, and it is pouring rain. So that'll be fun. Maybe it'll stop before, um, before I go home. We'll see. But hopefully you guys are having a good day so far. It is hump day, so hopefully um, that is a good day for you. I am excited because we're on day two of the new catalog and I have some more things to share with you today. And I put in my order yesterday and then I just put in another one today. So I have lots of fun new stuff coming this later this week because I did expedited shipping as well. So I'll have some new stuff hopefully to share with you tomorrow. We'll see when it comes. Um, but. I'm hoping to have some more stuff to play with. But today I'm gonna to play with the hues of happiness paper. It seems like many of you are on the fence about this collection and to be honest, I was like, oh, I don't need the stamp set. I have enough florals, but I got the paper because I thought the paper was really pretty. And now as I'm seeing everybody's cards and I'm like, oh, I probably should have gotten the bundle too. So it was on my order this morning and so I should have it on Friday. Um, but in the meantime, I do think it works really well with the um, poppy moments dies and the um, peaceful moments are not that's the sentiments. I forget what the other one's called. Uh, what's it called? Painted poppies. So I think I'm going to try and work with that today and then we'll see how we do. Uh, hey Debbie. Uh, so yeah, so let's go ahead and turn this around and we'll get started. So, uh, here we go. All right. Um, I know I actually used the pleasant or peaceful, what is it called? painted poppies a lot when that one first came out. So it's been kind of neglected on my shelf. So I think that was a good reason for me to pull it out. And I know, I think a lot of you have that one too, because I, well, I know I used the sentiment set um, for one of my paper shares a while back. So you may have that one too. So that's what I'm going to use for my sentiments today, which I don't think I brought any scrap paper over for that, but maybe we'll use the pink that I'm going to use. Okay. Anyway, I'm talking to myself. So here is the paper. Isn't it pretty? It's like rainbowish, but not rainbowish, if that makes sense. So what the big mistake that I made was that I decided I didn't need the stamp set and dies because like I said, I have these, which I think look somewhat similar to the other one, right? However, and this one has dies that go with it too. Um, so these are the dies, which again, very similar, but the dies for the Hues of Happiness bundle Actually, oh, excuse me, um, I've had some allergies issues the last day or so, um, so pardon me. The um, dyes for this bundle actually cut out the flowers from these papers. And of course there's, you know, more coordinating um, elements to the dyes, which when I looked at it again, let me just pull it up here in the catalog because I can show that to you now. Uh, let's go to the front where it tells you the table of contents. Um, Hues of Happiness 108 and 109. So I'm going to go to that. And what, see, like for me, this stamp set looks very similar to these, right? However, there's the really cool part about this one, I think, is the fonts. Like, I love, the love, love the fonts and the sentiments in this one. So I was like, oh, well, even that just alone makes these worthwhile. But, of course, they have the um, dyes that go along with this that will cut out not only the, the flowers from the paper, but also the flowers from all of this stamp set, plus the piece de resistance for me. The one that was like, oh, I gotta do it, is the little edging on here, and I don't know... Is it on any of these? I thought I saw it somewhere on one of my samples and I, they're over on the other side of the room. Um, but if you look at the cover, see how it's got this cute little notebook like edge? That is actually from these dies. And so I was like, oh, well, I need that because I think that would be really cute for scrapbook journaling. Oh, and actually it's right here too. See right at the top of this pink paper, you've got the little edgelet for the notebook paper. So that sold me on it. And then I was like, okay, 
I need that. So I ordered the whole suite, got some more paper, I believe, and then I think, or I might have just done the bundle and the dots. I think I got the um, glossy dots too, which are part of this collection. So you can do the whole thing. $69.50 will get you the paper, the stamps and dies, plus those little glossy dots as well. So again, I don't have the bundle or the dots yet. Those are coming. Um, probably on Friday, but I figured I can still play with this collection and um, we'll see how that goes. But let's go ahead and um, start playing with this, okay? So I'm gonna start with, hello ladies, thanks so much for uh, joining me. Okay, uh, let's see. The colors are beautiful, Amy. I love it. Happy rainy Wednesday, Susan. It is indeed a rainy Wednesday, but that's perfect for crafting, so I'm okay with that. All right, so like I said, I'm going to start with a basic white, thick basic white cardstock, which is one of my go-tos when I'm crafting, is just to start with white. Honestly, I could buy an entire pack of this, and you have so... I forget how many are in a basic white... I, mean, I know the regular, I think it's 40. Yeah, 40 sheets. So you can get 80 card bases out of one eight and a half pack. And so those make excellent card bases. So I do that a lot. Um, generally, I would do, and actually let me do it this way. I would do a four by five and a quarter inch mat. But I want to have a little more white showing this time. So I'm going to do a three and three quarters by five inch mat instead for the color. So let's do uh five here so i wanted a little pink layer underneath so i'm going to do this one at three and three quarters by five and that's just going to give me a little more white space around this piece okay and then i'm going to cut my pattern paper just a quarter of an inch shorter so um, if it's three and three quarters it will be three and a half for this one by four and three quarters because the last one was at five okay and that just gives me a perfect little mat. It's very easy measurements, I think, too. So if you're challenged with me, like me, I should say, um, doing a quarter inch difference on both sides makes it really easy. So here we have, we're going to line these up like this. Isn't that cute? I love that. All right, so I'm going to actually take these together. I'm going to go ahead and commit because I'm just running. Oh, that looks really pretty, too. I like that a lot with the pink. Doesn't that look pretty? But we're not going to do that because I have something else in mind. So let's just go ahead and attach this. Not second guess ourselves. And we're going to go. This paper, honestly, you guys, if you don't get the bundle, you need the paper. The paper is stunning. And it's just, it really is beautiful. All right, so I have that layer. And I'm going to take some twine because I realized I went through all of my ribbon this morning and I have like three rolls left that aren't retired so and when I ordered all my stuff the last two days I didn't order any ribbon so we're gonna be using a lot of linen thread until I can place another order and get some current ribbon although actually I take that back I think I did order the new in color stuff so I'll have those ribbons to play with and I do have a, like I said I have a few I think there's like three or four that carried over the ones that I have so I'll have a little bit to play with all right so I'm going to go ahead and I apologize for the sniffling. I was not anticipating having to sneeze right in the middle of a live. And so now I'm sniffly. All right. So let's go ahead and just tie a little knot. I'm going to probably tie a bow on this too. Um, let's do this. And we'll just tie a little bow here kind of on the side. You could do a knot too. If you don't want to do the bow, that's totally fine. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and attach this to my card with some dimensionals. And then I mentioned that the dies actually cut out some of the flowers from the paper. But since I don't have those, I went ahead and fussy cut some flowers before the live started so that I could use those. So I'll show you what I did. So let's just take this down. Okay, and then I'll show you. If you look at the um, this last one here that I have, I chopped out three flowers, and I believe it cuts out this one and the flowers on this page. So you could get a variety of colored flowers, but I cut out three in the rule of thirds, like we were talking about earlier this week. I cut out three from the patterned paper, 
And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of make a little cluster of those right here on my card. Again, I'm gonna use dimensionals, I think. Um, let me just see how I wanna put these on. I think I want the pink one in the front like that. So, or actually, maybe, cause I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use a pink piece of paper. So maybe I want it like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this one first because the other one's gonna overlap a little bit. So I won't need dimensionals as, um, as much dimensionals because I'll just put regular adhesive where it's overlapping. So I'm gonna attach this first one, which is gonna be all dimensionals on the back. I'm just cutting up my excess. I always do this. I don't know, I don't like to like just pull it apart. I like to have little um, separated pieces and then I can just pull them off as I need them. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let's stick this under here, and I'm gonna, I want it to be kind of under this, kind of tucked in there. That looks good. Okay, so now we'll do this one, but see how this one's gonna kind of overlap this pink one? So I'm gonna put a little bit of regular adhesive here where it's gonna overlap, and then I'll use dimensionals on the rest. Okay, and now I can overlap those. Okay, and then this one, I'm gonna overlap even more. So this one, I can put adhesive right here and then just a couple of dimensionals there. Dimensional, oh, dim, Josh. Yes, I do love dimensionals. Dimensionals are the best. All right, so no fussy cutting, not my favorite task. Yeah, so you'll definitely want the dies then because then you don't have to fussy cut. You can just use the dies, it makes it easier. But I don't mind fussy cutting, so. All right, so there's our little flower cluster, okay? And then I'm gonna take a little piece of the Melon Mambo because that's what I have for scrap here. And uh, I'm gonna do a thank you card because y'all know I need lots of thank yous and I'm very behind in my thank you notes. So tonight I'm taking home my thank you bin and I'm gonna be working on that while we watch any TV that we may be watching. Um, come on, my desk is getting very cluttered that I can't get my block out. Okay, I'm gonna use this. And I'm gonna use just um, memento black for this. I remember yesterday that my ink was a little bit dry and I did not remember to ink it before I put it away. So we're just gonna make sure we really ink it up nicely. Okay. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and straight down, straight up. Oh, and I forgot something too. We'll just cut this off first and then I'll go back and fix what I forgot. So let's just trim that down. And actually I think I can trim off a little on the bottom too. Okay, and then um, I think I'll use my little banner punch, maybe. Oops, that's my paper, my ribbon scissors. We do not cut with those. I'm gonna just trim this down a little bit because I don't want it quite that big. And I might actually just trim it on one side. So let me just do one for now. So I'm gonna stick it, oh, I'm gonna undo it. I gotta stick it inside my punch here. We'll line it up with the edge of the punch up here, making sure it's straight. And we can do that. Um, I'm trying to think where I'm going to want it. Maybe like right here, actually. So I think I'm going to want the other side punched too. So I'm going to go ahead and do that while it's here. We'll punch this. Okay. All right. And then I can add that here. I don't really want to cover um, much of the black centers of the flowers because I feel like that makes it look weird. So I'm just gonna move this twine up a tiny bit so that I can tuck that in right here. And then I am covering a little bit, but I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach that. 
Um, I'm just going to put regular adhesive on it. There is a little bit that's overlapping, but I'm not going to worry about putting a dimensional on that, I don't think. Well, maybe I will because I don't want it to sag. So we'll just grab a little piece of dimensional here, stick that there, and then we'll go ahead and put that down. Okay. Now, the part that I forgot before was the leaves that I cut. So in the poppy moments, again, because I don't have the dies and stamps that go with this particular set, but I thought this one matched very closely, the painted poppies. So I grabbed the leaves from, the detail leaves from this die set and I cut the detail piece out of the parakeet party, one of the new in colors, and I cut the, um, base leaf out with the granny apple green and it's kind of funny when you put it next to this this now looks like old olive to me but it's actually granny apple green and this is the parakeet party so you die cut them and then you go ahead and i use a little bit of liquid glue or you could use the self-adhesive sheets when you die cut them which again i did not think to do beforehand so i'm just going to use a little bit of my liquid glue and i'm going to go ahead and attach that to this one. So it gives a little bit of depth and dimension. Dimension, okay? And now I did two ahead of time as well. So I have three, again, for um, my rule of thirds, right? So I'm probably gonna put a couple up here, okay? And then maybe one kind of tucked under here. So these leaves are a little bit big. So actually I might, because I already I already taped this down, but I think I want to hide a little more of this um, because it's a little long. Again, this is why having the dies that go with it <laughs> is a little bit smarter, right? Okay, there. I'm going to just do a little bit tucked out here, and I'll just put a little bit of liquid glue here to hold that in place so I don't have to try and get my adhesive down there. Okay, and then I can do the same up here. I might actually trim these down a little bit. So I can tuck them in. Mm, let's just take off a little bit there. This is scary because <laughs> I don't know how much I want to hide. But oh, thanks, Robin. I did kind of plan it out in my head a little bit, so I did cheat a little. There you go. I think that looks better. They're not quite so big and bulky. So let's go ahead and just add a little bit of this liquid glue since it's here. It allows you, it's a little bit more forgiving to the liquid glue. So it's once it's not like once it's stuck, it's stuck. So I can go ahead and do that. And I'll add a little bit more here. And then we'll tuck this one on top with it a little bit longer. There we go. Oh, darn. You know what I just realized I did not order? Is I didn't get any more Wink of Stella. Actually, I had a list of things that were from the old catalog that I needed to order, like blades and Wink of Stella, new cutting plates. Um, I forget what else was on my list, and I ordered none of that. <laughs> so I only got new stuff. Look, you guys, this was my list, my initial. I always do like an initial run through, and um, I write down everything that I could possibly want in the catalog. This one, this time around, came to $1,425.75. I did not order everything. And that's actually on the cheaper side, I will say. Um, I've had them as high as like $4,000, $5,000 in the past, particularly for the annual catalog because it's such a big catalog. So I was kind of proud of myself. But I did pull that back to a reasonable amount. But if you look, where is it? Up here, like see, I had Wink of Stella. I needed Block, um, block F. I needed cutting plates. I wanted the Stitch Greenery folder. I wanted... Uh, the Cloud Punch, Paradise Palms Bundle, the Days to Remember stamp set, the Garden Birdhouses and the Timeless Tile uh, folder that I didn't order any of those. So, <laughs> oh well, why do I make lists, right? All right, the last thing for this is to add some bling. And I think I kind of like these iridescent um, book jewels and they're kind of the right size for these flower centers. So I think... Yeah, I think I'm going to just add them right to the centers of the flowers, and I'm okay if it kind of tucks underneath. This one, it won't really, whoops, that didn't, that's going to be a goner. That one I'll probably just kind of overlap with the sentiment. 
I should have maybe put this on with dimensionals and then I could have overlapped it like that. I don't know if I love those giant ones, actually. Hmm. Maybe I want... You guys, it's okay to change your mind. I don't like it. <laughs> so I'm going to carefully pull those, oops, pull those off so I get the adhesive, which that one I did not, but I'm going to put it back together. Shh, don't tell. Okay, and then we're going to do this one too because I thought I'd like it. I liked the, like, that it picked up the pink, but once it was there, I didn't like it. So I'm thinking something a little more subtle, like those white ones from the polished dots, where we could do some blingy silver rhinestones. What else do I have? I think those are my major ideas here. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do, I think I want it more subtle, so I'm going to go ahead and do these. Um, let's just do the one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm counting you guys, if you didn't tell, I'm going to actually, let's see what it looks like if I do a little cluster of them, if that's too much. I wish I had enough of the little ones, but I don't, but that looks kind of, mm, I don't know. No, I don't like the big one. I want to do three little ones, and I don't think, oh wait, oh wait, 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 I might be able to. I think I can. All right, here we go. I'm happy now. We're going to do the three little ones, and then I have enough on this other one to do that too. We're going crazy with the bling, so this has to be a special person. Has to be a worthy card recipient, right? Do you guys have your A, B, A list and B list? People that are are approved to get these special cards and people that are not. <laughs> Whoops, I don't know why I'm not using my take your pick tool, you guys. Take a lesson from me. Two lessons today. Buy the whole dang sweet collection and use your tools. <laughs> All right, there we go. I don't know, this last one might be a bit much. I'm gonna see if I can kind of tuck it under. Come on. There we go. That's better. There. Okay. I think I'm happy with that. There you go. I like the little ones. That works. Okay. And there's our finished card. What do you guys think? Yay? Nay? We like this one? Do we like this sweet? So let me show you a couple of other um, cards with this collection. So this one didn't use the paper at all. It just used the stamp set. And I think... Let me just double check. But I'm pretty sure they just did the stamping on yep on regular white cardstock they used um gold emboss so they stamped it in versamark oh look at you guys it's a special fold i didn't even notice that before um so it opens this way instead of a regular card um i love that actually it's very cool so they he stamped in versamark sprinkled gold powder on it and then heat set it and then just added some color to that so very pretty same thing with these and then um the open they did the inside as well super cute i love it and i love all the die cuts this is the dots and spots which i do believe made it on my list um so i'll probably have that later this week and then that st stylish shapes dies and again the stylish shapes dies and they die cut their flower from the bundle so that one's really cute this is a different one i got all three of the samples i have for this are um fun folds so this is the little matchbox one i showed you yesterday really cute just a small strip of that paper which i love and then um this is the fun fold here so super cute and there's the glossy dots that were from that suite so if you buy the whole suite collection you get the dies that cut out these images you get the stamps with that really fun font like look at how cute this font is see how pretty it is that was what really sold me on it you guys i love the curvy scripture front front the front so the font and then um you'll also get the dots and the paper and the dies so super super fun collection hopefully you guys liked my version today again if you want to go ahead and place any of your new catalog orders don't get the host code so you get the free gift um, that i'm doing if um your order's over 150 don't use the code you'll still get the gift and if you want to um if you need help with anything feel free to reach out to me i'm always happy to help 
All right, I think that's it for today. I will be back again tomorrow. It's Thursday, so I'd be here anyway, Thursday throwdown. So, but we'll be here counting down some more new catalog goodies, and um, I should have new stuff. So we'll have lots of things to play with. So thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a great day. Oh, and if you didn't catch it yesterday, I opened the paper share. So if you want to kind of try out the papers and get a little bit of each one to see which one you like the best, that's a great way to do it. The paper share is actually going to be in June. I believe it's June 25th is actually the day we do everything. But it takes me a while to cut and prep and get everything ready. So registration's open now for about a week, a week and a half, I think. And then um, we'll get to work putting all that stuff together and get them out to you. And uh, yeah, it should be a really fun day. All right, so if you need that link, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow for another edition of our catalog countdown. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.